Hey, what is up guys? I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to record in or not record but how to stream in OBS. Now, I was getting an error and I'm assuming a lot of you guys are getting the same error as I am. Um, now I use Bandicam to record my gameplay and because whenever I record gameplay, my gameplay is in 1080p 60 frames per second. So it's much different whenever I'm recording gameplay than it is streaming because I can record at any limit I want. And even though it still requires upload speed to, um, even though it still requires upload speed to um, upload a video, it's not as bad as like whenever you're streaming live. So I can upload a 20 minute video in about two hours with my upload speed in 1080p 60 frames per second. And with me, so that my videos actually look right, I actually have to render them in 2K resolution so that you don't get any blurry pixelation on the screen. So I'm actually rendering them in a much higher setting and I still upload them at a decent speed. But whenever you're uh, streaming, if you have internet like I do, which is, I think I'm getting between three to five um, uh, megabits per second upload speed. So I have to change my settings to like 720p and drop the bit rate and record in 30 frames or, or stream in 30 frames. But if you're about to stream, like just say I'm about to click on stream and I click start streaming. Um, if you're getting a message like this, fail to connect, uh, fail to connect server, the connection was blocked. Um, check your firewall slash antivirus settings to make sure OBS is allowed full internet access. Pretty much what that is. Um, if you're getting this uh, message, uh, I would probably stay on the video so that I can show you guys. If you're not getting this message, then this video probably won't help you um, because this is actually telling you what it is. It's your antivirus software. It's pretty much telling you exactly what to do. So if you click out of this, and then you go to um, your antivirus software, which mine is this this uh, this Bitdefender thing. So you click on it, and um, I don't know how yours works, but you're gonna want to go to the uh, part where you have your firewall settings. And um, now I don't know if this is gonna hurt your laptop in any way. I'm assuming it does it. I hope it, or your computer, whatever you're recording with. For me, um, I don't think it's gonna hurt anything but you just deselect that box and then literally you can go um, start streaming and you see it's starting now it's gonna it's a little delayed it's gonna be a little delayed at least for me I don't know how delayed it is for you guys but you can see at the bottom down here it's starting to run it's running running really low in a really low setting right now because I am also recording um, I'm not streaming right now um, but then I click stop streaming I really didn't want to click stream because um, I don't plan on streaming but I needed to for the video sake uh, so that should help you guys I hope it did um, if it did um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more um, I will have a lot more how-to videos in the future but um, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time and then go back to effect go to objects again um, object shadow now all these are plugins you're gonna want to download these if you don't already have them um,